Kang and Kong. I develop Tony Hoof, and you are listening to the MBS Show. Hello and welcome to the MBS Show. This is episode number fifty-six, and I'm your host Daniel Anthony. Joining me this week is Norman Sanzo. Hello. Hi, Norman. How have you been? I'm doing great. That's good to hear. And also joining us is Charlie. Hello. So how are you, Charlie? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How about you? I'm fine. Good. Catching up with all my work and stuff. All right. So now that we know all the hosts are good, let's introduce our guest, and he is none other than Eng Yik Pang. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, Eng Yik Pang. Welcome back to the show. It's great to have you back. Hey, everyone. Okay, so before we proceed, we know you've answered these questions before, but to keep up with the sake of consistency, you will have to answer them again. So, question okay. one. Okay. Yep. Who is your favorite pony? Pinky Pie. About time we had a Pinky Pie. Yes. So, your reason? Because I see Twilight Sparkles your display picture. Because Pinky Pie for all her fun, 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 fun. Yeah, I can't get. A, I can't get a, fun, enough of that. Fun. Yeah, but why is Twilight your display picture? Just because you like that pose. Yeah, I saw that because... Eh. <laughs> if all of you are listening and you don't know what this display picture is, it's Twilight making that face that, you know, she's when she's scolding Cadence. Actually, I can't really remember how to describe it, but yeah, basically it's her doing that face that she's trying to imitate what happened to Shining Armor. So, now that we're done with that, we need to ask you, which is your favorite episode? Too many pinky pies. Okay, <laughs> quite obvious from which reference you made earlier. <laughs> that you can't make a face crazy as this! <laughs> that was a good inside joke, good inside reference. So, we already know how you became a brony. So, we'd like to ask you: if There's anything new about how your friends react to you becoming a brony? New friends you have made, people you have met, how have they reacted to you as a brony? My real life friends don't really know much <laughs> of my brony stuff. One of my friends, Timothy, he I just met him at school last week <clears throat> to get my. Uh, to get a school certificate, and he said that he tried using pony hoof, even though he's not a brony or watched the show or whatsoever. And he said that I did a good job. Also, that's good. <laughs> All right then. So basically, since you're returning, we don't need to ask you how you became a brony because we already know that. Yeah. So now let's move on to the housekeeping section. So. So, just earlier this week, Charlie and I went down south to Johor to visit Norman, and we saw our friend Elsman at Legoland, where we had tons of fun. So, we also record a little bit on that night. If you want the MBS show's guide on how to have fun, fun, fun at Legoland, stay tuned this week. We may be releasing a special episode just for you. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Fun. Mm, sounds like fun. Fun, fun, fun. Have you been to Legoland by any chance? No. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> Soon, soon, very soon. Soon. Yep. And so, what, Norman, what do you have in store for us from our little visit? Well, we went there, we rode rides, and we took pictures. Well, basically, Legoland took pictures for us when we rode the rides. But nonetheless, we have pictures, and you can watch them at the MBS Show's Facebook page. Um, links will be provided in the show notes. And look at our reactions. I like the dragon. The dragon pose is so good. <laughs> Yeah, basically, it's like the MBS show reacts to Legoland. Most importantly, I think we all can agree that we had a thoroughly fun time over there. Yes, with the exception of the dragon, for me. <laughs> you're not a theme park person, are you, Dan? No, I'm not. In case you're all wondering, I'm not a theme park person and I'm not a roller coaster person. But at least you have the guts to at least go for it. Yeah, pretty much a lot of moral support from friends. Friendship is magic. Yep. All right. Okie dokie dokie. So now that we're done with housekeeping, let's swing in over to news time. And in today's news time, we've got something very big to announce. So Charlie, why don't you take the honors? Oh yes, oh yes. I'll tell you guys a secret. Did you know that season four is actually confirmed this winter? <gasps> dun dun dun. Yes, it is. Links can be found in the show notes. We are a long way from Equestria, but it's on the horizon. Season 4 will be hitting us this winter, which is roughly about 9 months' time. A lot of time to catch up on fanfics, animation, music, and all Brony community stuff. What do you guys are you think about this? You guys excited? Oh yes, excited. It's a long way. Like 9 months. So, let's it's just have a long. little roundtable discussion here. What are you going to do in these 9 months? The real question is, uh, when they say winter, which part of winter? Because... 
um, television world winter and real life winter is kind of different? Uh, I think they are talking about yeah. the Northern Hemisphere winter that will cover December, January, and February. Three yeah. months of winter coolness. Yeah. And awesome holidays. This <laughs> season four will be released 20 minutes before winter wrap up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that, that, nice move, the hub. <laughs> that's in March. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Great job, Hasbro. Winter ends in 20 minutes. All right, season four's up. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> And next day you start school. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh god, no. So it's almost a year away. So, Charlie, what are you going to do? Nine months is really a long time. Uh, in between the episodes, I believe that I'll just keep on doing what we've been doing in between episodes. That is, we will consume the Brony community's creative artworks. And at the same time, uh, maybe we would think of uh, some creativity of our own. Maybe few side projects going on. Hey, Charity, be honest. Seriously, be honest. You're just going to buy merch. Uh, <laughs> well, I did some organizing to help people buy merch, so I guess that counts. <laughs> One does not simply buy merch for others without buying merch for himself. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's kind of like an excuse. But hey, more ponies, it's good for everyone. You can never have too many picky pies. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Indeed, we yeah. have. How about you, Jess? They should sell a toy set which is like 20 Pinkie Pie blind bags in one box. Oh, God. They will sell out in one week. <laughs> like From all the bronies box. buying the Pinkie Pie box. Oh, boy. Box set, yeah. Or if, you know, was it Funko or was it Hot Topic decides to prank us and they release another Pinkie Pie box inside and just 20 blind bags <laughs> and Pinkie Pie in it. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> too no. many. It's too, oh, no. too many Pinkie Pies. <laughs> yep. Okay, so Yik Pang, what are you gonna do? I probably have college starting up soon, sooner or later, so at least I won't be completely stuck at home in during these nine months. But other than that, I guess I'll just continue to pony on. Just enjoy what the community creates during this time. Yep, keep calm and pony on. Okay, as for me, nine months, hmm, a lot of time. What to do? Well, I'm just going to wait for Double Rainbow to come out, which is next week, so at least helps to ease the flow. And I think there are a lot of fan animations coming our way, especially those movies we've talked about with our previous guests, Journey of the Spark, Rise of the Galliac. There's plenty of stuff coming up. So, yeah, we're not going to have that dry of a pony season. True, true. And also, don't forget the official movie and Equestria Girls. <laughs> oh, yeah. Movie? What? <laughs> uh, yeah. They say that there's an official straight-to-TV movie. Not 100% sure how uh, accurate that is, but yeah, I guess it has to be because um, nine it's months crossing. of waiting. Yeah, true indeed. Oh, yes. And so, Equestria Girls. Oh, yeah, Equestria Girls. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. I'm going to be better placing bets on how that one goes. Because uh, don't it's going to be... I'm just going to watch it first, then place my judgment later, but... I already know what my judgment is. <laughs> Spike as a dog. <laughs> Twilight is supposed to be the dog, like from Little Spike Shop. <laughs> Twilight Barco. So we trend and Spike the. What now? <laughs> Spike the dog. Is yeah. this an insult? <laughs> is, this, is this a crude joke? Yeah. So, alright, so Norman, since you love merch so much, why don't you take the second news topic for the week? Okie dokie dokie. Even more ponies from Funko! We announced in episode 54 that there would be more vinyl figures. Well, if you didn't like those, Daniel doesn't, a rumor that was going around earlier this week has been confirmed. The next two vinyl ponies from Funko are going to be Pinkie Pie and Lyra. So you can find a picture of the rumored tweet and also a link confirming that the next two ponies are going to be Pinkie Pie and Lyra. So, you guys, who do you think was actually going to be the next two? Hang on a moment. I'm a bit skept- skeptical about this. You say it's confirmed to be Pinkie Pie and Lyra, but the actual tweet by Hot Topic actually says they may or may not rhyme with Minky Mai and Myra. That was actually the rumor that was going around earlier this week. Ah. So, so but- everyone was wondering what it was, and in the end, they actually confirmed it. Hmm, so this is confirmation for 100%? Yeah, 
Well, it's on EQD, so I guess EQD won't lie to us. Right. <laughs> right. It's the internet. Nobody lies to us. But it's not April Fool's yet. You never know. But I, re- I would remain a little bit skeptical. No, it can't be too careful now. So who do you think was going to be the next anyway? Listen to our previous episode, episode 54. We speculated a lot on that one. Oh, yes. But then, you're excited about getting this one? Uh, maybe. I don't own any stuff from Funko yet, but perhaps because of Pink Pie. Okay, cool. Pink Pie, what about you? Do you have Pony merch? Unfortunately, no. Would this be your first collection? Hot topic, what? Isn't that going to be expensive? <laughs> I believe the price yep. for one um, collectible is about sixteen fifty USD. True, uh, true. Not including the shipping. Oh, the shipping is a killer, yes. <laughs> Which kills you, yes. Bulk buy, man, bulk buy. Yep, that's why we bulk buy. But on a side note, um, Hot Topic actually occasionally offers deals and discounts, so if you look out for that, you might get um, up to possibly 50% off. Oh, that's nice. Or if you have a relative in the States, they could help. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. <laughs> And last but not least, this week, if you've been waiting for another Brony documentary, the Brony Chronicles by Saber Spark and Paleo are going to be premiering at EQLA. So last month, we had Saber Spark on as a surprise guest. Well, he was on, he mentioned something about a Brony documentary, and in fact, he even took some notes in our show. It is finally being released and will be premiering at EQLA. It will be in three parts released in sequence on YouTube and EFN starting May coming out at one part per month. So, yeah. Now we've got even more things to do in this nine months. Yay! Yeah, I I actually got caught up with this bit of news and it's pretty exciting because, um, well, more content for us to uh, enjoy. And I bet it's going to be good with names like Paleo and Saber Spark. I can't wait for this. I've been waiting so patiently for Paleo and Saber Spark to come out with this documentary. (laughs) Because it's the the kind of documentary that's by Bronies for Bronies. Even though Saber Spark said he's going to do it from an external perspective, it's still done by a brony at heart, so... It will be a bit of a different take from John Delancey's documentary. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, have you watched John Delancey's documentary by any chance, Lingy Park? Uh, not really. Okay. Like, no interest in it. Because you're watching a documentary about bronies when you are a brony yourself. Actually, the documentary is more aimed towards the outside uh, non-brony people so that they get an idea of uh, what the fandom is about. Yeah. But uh, we yeah. as bronies, we, we were able to pass a judgment call to see whether actually it's uh, it's suitable and whether we, whether we can we can find parts that we can agree on or maybe uh, parts that we do not really agree on. And that, that makes uh, good feedback. Yeah, but from reading, reading other people's opinions, they say that it doesn't actually talk about the Brony history or whatsoever, which is like, what? Why didn't you focus that? Eh. Spotlight was more on the individual stories of the, uh, the Bronies and how they experienced their... Uh, how, and, and stories about their experiences, really. Yep. Don't get me started on the title. But basically, yeah, I, think, I think that... Uh, you know, Saber Spark would have a different... Because he's doing three parts. He's talking about history. He's talking about community and stuff like that. So I think there's going to be much more exposure in this one. He's worked on it for so many months. He's put so much hard work into it. And i just like to shout out to him right now. It's just keep it up. You've been doing such a great job. And now that we're done with the news for the week, let's move on to guest time. So joining us once again this week is MBS show Malaysian Brony of the Year nominee, Ng Yik Pang. He was one of the first guests on this show... And now, almost a year later, we speak to him about one of his greatest contributions to the community. So, Yik Pang, mind introducing yourself to those who may not know who you are? Oh, hello there. Uh, I, I'm Hong Yik Pang, and I build Ponyhoof, a face, uh, browser extension for Facebook that pretty much ponifies Facebook like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if you want to get Ponyhoof, just make sure you're using an updated browser. Um, what browsers are you compatible with? Uh, Google Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Safari, but no Internet Explorer. Are you going to eat seriously? He did. No. He, he, he or she gets no love. <laughs> <laughs> every, web, only... every web developer hates him or her. I think I'm the only one who gives IE10 love. Alright, fine. <laughs> if you want to get Pony Hope, just head on over to jointheherd.little.my and that is in the show notes. Yeah, go try it out. 
go and play around with it. Plenty of ponies. You know, it's not just one theme. It's many, many themes in one. It's probably the best darn Facebook extension you could get. Yeah. So, Yipang, it's been a year now since the launch of Ponyhoof. How far has it come? What has it, you know, achieved in this one year? Well, we have started from humble beginnings. And we started from, like, I forgot how much teams did we start at the beginning. I think it was, like, 9 or 10. And now we've got, like, about... 43 characters to choose from and then we added way more Pinkie Pie than, than in the beginning <laughs> like her uh, fourth, fourth wall breaking and it got quite a lot of attention in the Facebook page Facebook Brony page admins and sometimes uh, some people post images to Reddit or Funny Junk, but they accidentally forgot to turn off Ponyhoof. So a lot of the comments in for that photo will say, "Why is the like button bro hoof?" When this when Facebook has a pony language. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this, this happens. This happens a lot. <laughs> yeah, and actually, I would like to say that. Um, Sometimes I go to university and I browse Ponyhoof on my laptop and then my friends come behind me and they notice their picture on the website and they're like, what is this Ponyhoof, Daniel? I didn't sign up for this. Why is my picture there? <laughs> Basically, that happens a lot in, in university. So how much time and effort have you put in? You know, you took some time to build the first versions and the first scripts for Ponyhoof. So how much time do you invest in keeping it up to make it like, you know, the great Facebook plugin it is today? Well, initially it took like two months of development to come up with the first version. And during my school days, I do take about a few hours of my time, of my computer time to actually fix all the new stuff that Facebook comes out like every week, every month, every day. Now that I don't have school anymore and waiting for college, uh, I have more time to do some of the tweaks that I wanted to do, such as the OC Team Builder. I'm planning to do that. Ooh. A lot of people have requested that. <laughs> Ooh, this sounds good. OC Team Builder. So yeah, you heard it on the NBA show. It's really going to be coming soon, hopefully. <laughs> Yay! Because uh, earlier, before we started the show, I remember we asked you whether you know you were gonna make a theme for Snowdrop, and uh, you said that you don't do OCs. Uh, yeah, why don't that? do because if because if we do Snowdrop, and then all the other people will, will get jealous and saying, why is Snowdrop more important? Why did you create a theme for her? But not the other notable OCs. I don't know, like. Nick. Living Tombstone, Clay, I don't know, all, all those other OCs, why didn't he do those? So, to have an equal playing field, I decided not to do any OCs. Okay. <laughs> so, if you, do, if you do make this a pony OC, do you plan to let them output their own themes as well for others to download? Uh, the team builder is still in the early stages. We still haven't plan how we build a feature into Ponyhoof itself, but we will figure it out. Okay. So, uh, you mentioned a lot of we, you know. It's how many people are in the Ponyhoof team? Two in the beginning and still two right now. <laughs> so, that would be you and? Uh, the server admin. Sorry? The server admin. He just maintains the server. Not than that, all the code oh, server are admin. all done by me. So, technically, there is only one developer. <laughs> So your servers would be where? Because I know you host on Google Code, correct? Uh, we, we switched away from Google App Spot oh. last year. And we switched to Mac CDN, but it was costing us a bit too much money. I think 70 US dollars per wow. one terabyte. Per terabyte. And I think we actually use it in about three to four months. Wow. So why did you switch away from uh, App Spot? Wasn't it good? Uh, I, uh, Apple is quite derpy. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, and it's quite expensive. I thought it was free. Uh, it was free for one gig. 
Oh. After one gig, then they will char- start charging you. I see. So now where are you hosted on? Uh, now, now I think right now we are on a virtual private server. Not sure whether so I'm, what the so I'm in did, but we put a front end on top of our server, which is Cloudflare. Oh, Cloudflare. To do uh, content delivery network services (CDN). Ah. So, so any- to serve, to serve, so to make it so that all the imi- all the content and images are all loaded from the nearest geographic location. So, Ooh. Malaysian people will get a Singapore server, I believe. Quite US people will get a US server, and Europe people will get a Europe server. So, Ooh, wow. it will be really fast. What if it's taking over the world? Yay. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I, need, I also like to ask you a bit about uh, Little Dot Mai, but before we go into that, guys, do you have any questions about Ponyhoof? You mentioned that it all started with two fellows, um, and yeah. you were the only one who actually uh, actively developed the uh, software. Yes. Um, however, have you at any point considered expanding into more crews so that you can um, branch out into different uh, aspects of the software? Uh, just for an example, the maybe maybe a mobile app or things like like other other things like IE ten integration. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, what so, you mean sort of like open source? Uh, sort of like making the project a little bit more, more open. Bit, um, bigger than it than it currently is because at this point it's still quite small. I must say. Well, when you consider when you compare. Pony Hoof with another Pony browser extensions, which I can only think of Ponyfy. Yeah, that's Ponyfy, and uh, that's the only one I can think of. That's what I was using. <laughs> I just found Pony Mode. Hmm. I guess Pony Modes don't count, do they? What Pony Modes? Pony Modes, the <laughs> emoticons. Oh, uh, I think I think that also counts, but very likely. Still, is it is it really that popular? Um. um among Reddit users, most mostly actually. Okay, Reddit users, but it's hard to get a good gauge on uh, on the stats and all because you know, I don't I don't see stats online. Uh, is it on the Chrome Web Store? Mm-hmm. Oh, this. But okay. actually, um, since you're on the Chrome Web Store, I suppose they give you analytics. So, um, could you tell yeah, us how many installs you've had? Right now, from the Chrome Web Store, it reports that there are seventy-two thousand. Monthly active users. Wow! Just for Chrome. Just for Chrome. So yeah, I don't think Firefox Chrome. and other web browsers have an extension store, right? They don't. Firefox, Safari, and Opera they all have their extension stores, but the problem is that they have a review process. But the Chrome Web Store doesn't actually have a review process at all. So you just upload it, upload your extension, and it gets published immediately. So mm-hmm. we decided to just put it to Chrome Web Store. For Firefox, Opera, and Safari, we just host the extension on our own site, which works. <laughs> okay. And we get about 150 installs per day. Whoa, 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 150 a day? Yeah, and we get around 14,000 impressions per day. Impressions meaning that the Pony Hoof icon appearing on the Chrome Web Store's store listing as long as the person seen it, then it will be counted as an impression. That's a that's, lot. Wow. That's pretty impressive, I must say. And I heard that you made it to the front page of Chrome Web Store at once? Yes, the trending we did at one, at one, when the extension is launched, yeah, it did flew to the trending on fire section. <laughs> wow. Trending with three fire, with three flames. Oh, wow. Wow, so I guess really a lot of people do use Ponyhook. Must be a really... Awesome thing. Yeah, I mean, it's like uh, some of us go to college and probably see we're the only one in the classroom, but it's actually a huge community. Wow. I would like to know, does Pony Hoof have a hid- any hidden Easter eggs inside it? Uh, that's the fun, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, but uh, at this point, uh, I, I... Spoiler I, I, alert! <laughs> Spoiler yeah, I mean, alert, but then again, a- this, is, uh, this is a podcast, not everyone will know, but I think I can tell you one Easter egg that... I think nobody on the page has even reported to us. Ah. Konami code? Yes. Oh. Oh, shoot. Haven't tried that. Yeah, open polyhoof options and do the Konami code. 
Oh, you have to open the options, I see. Yeah, open the options and do the command code. I think you will be pleased by the result. Oh, you. <laughs> I actually Konami coded my blog as well. I like, can see there, but the thing is that uh, nobody goes to my blog. It's season 3 out, you probably have to update that. <laughs> That montage picture where it was this huge um, pictures of icons of people who use pony hoof, and yeah. they, they make uh, they made six character. How long yeah. did it take to make this image? Uh, it actually doesn't well to us. Uh, it doesn't take too long. It took I think it only took about three to four days. the The most hardest part is actually getting all the profile pictures because. I have a bad internet connection, and I think the downloading all the profile pictures took like two to f- three hours oh my. to download to download twenty thousand images. Twenty thousand images in, is downloaded in two hours. <laughs> Four hours, like it's around uh, twenty-seven twenty-seven thousand three hundred thirty-nine images. Wow! And they are just two KBs each. Yeah. Wow. So I assume that this was done by script and not manually. Yeah, the profile pictures are all from people who commented and liked the page posts. So I just wrote my own script to get them all through Facebook. And the image to stitch it all together to a gigantic mosaic is done with another program called Andrea Mosaic. Andrea Mosaic, ah. Yeah. Doesn't Facebook, like... um not take kindly to scripting so you know if you try to do that doesn't it like capture you and then uh, I use the I use the face I use Facebook's official API the graph API ah okay so but of course I not I don't do really stupid stuff like sending five requests per second that just that obviously that obviously you deserve to be blocked but I don't rush it just let it download by itself, but yeah, I didn't get blocked by Facebook. <laughs> I think after the show, uh, I think I'm going to have to have a little chat with you about this script. It's very interesting. Okay. Your source code is open, right? Yeah, technically it's open because it's all just JavaScript and CSS. Okay. And talking about Ponyhoof's growth and how much Facebook keeps changing their code, keep adding more and more features until it's so bloated that, yeah. like, on the first release of Ponyhoof 0.951, Applejack dot, Applejack.css is just 151 KBs. Now yeah. it has bloated to 447 KBs. That's a lot of code. Yes, that is a lot, a lot, a lot of code. And including the script itself, Pony, the uh, Ponyhoof script itself, at the beginning it's just 66 KBs. Now it's a 271 KB monster. Wow. So uh, how much time per day do you spend doing Ponyhoof, like coding this? Because that would have taken quite a while to do. I'm not paid by the hour. I just do it when <laughs> I feel like it. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, but it's like... Reverse, uh... reverse engineering, Facebook, well, wow. Well, Probably one of my passions. <laughs> so I suppose you've probably done some more stuff, like other than ponies and Facebook? Well, before I did Pony Hoof, I did do the monochrome team for uh-huh. Facebook. I think I did tell you this. Oh, yes, yes, the monochrome teams. Yeah, yeah the monochrome team, yeah, it basically turns Facebook to grey. So, yeah, I also have to maintain that. But right now, the monochrome team is literally just Pony Hoof without the ponies. Ah, okay. So that was like the starting point. More like when I do Pony Hoof, I do a completely brand new team engine, and then I port it monochrome to the new team engine. Ooh, okay. So uh, you're starting college soon. What are you going to be studying? Computers, obviously. <laughs> oh yes. I mean, uh, it's some some people are like that, like but others are, you know, really good in development, but don't do anything related to it at all. Such as. There are people out there who are like good musicians, especially in Malaysia. Not really in the brony industry, but. You see, like, our local musicians, they are either engineers or stuff like that, and they're suddenly in the music scene and not do anything related to what they learned in school whatsoever. Okay. And my mom, she's a political science major, but she ended up going into IT. Oh. (laughs) So, basically, yeah, great to see that you're going into computers, and do you 
think you might be going and doing more pony devs in the future, like maybe games or, uh, you know. No, no, here's a shocking fact. I don't play games. Bro, neither do I. I mean, I do, but very little. No, I only play, I literally right now only play iPad games. Oh, other, than that, okay. other than that, on my desktop, is literally serious business. No, serious <laughs> pony business. Great. It gives you ponies more time serious. to do the pony stuff. Yeah. Don't ask me. Don't ask me to play Counter Strike, Dota, Team Fortress Two with you because I literally do not know how to play those. For April Fool, you should open a Steam account. Okay, I do play Portal. Oh, Portal Two. Yeah, yeah, I do have Portal Two. I do have an original Portal Two. I okay, looked okay. through the uh, timeline of Pony Hill's page and I found a couple of interesting things I would like to ask you about. Okay. Um, first thing, I noticed a kind of like a meme where everybody is doing the Inception thing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> people, people keep doing the pinky in the pinky in the pinky. <laughs> so and, many pinkies. Yeah, and it's uh, all right. This is quite interesting because uh, there are so many teams to do, and uh, it ended up being it, it's like a showcase of all the available teams that you're able to use in the Inception window mode. So it's all, a team within a that, team within a that, team. Yeah. All that Inception image. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think uh, it's by Ed. Ed a guy called Ed Grianus. Mm-hmm. And yeah. yeah, there are a few others as well, actually. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they put the T, they put, oh, they keep changing the cover image. Yeah, the, it's basically the team of the uh, Pony Hoof, right? Uh, you chose yeah. the Twilight Sparkle and Rainbow yeah. Dash. Alright. But with now 43 teams, <laughs> we can go deeper. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can go. <sighs> My next question is um, actually with this one. At one point, Pony Hill had a Tau Gay option. Is this true? The Tau Gay thing is actually done for last year's April Fool's joke. <sighs> because last year, April Fool's, we actually released version 0.991 and we introduced a new Wine Scratch team. But oh. we act- at that time, we actually make it so that if you choose Wine Scratch, it will choose Bloomberg. Ah, <laughs> uh, you swap the teams. Yes, we swap the teams, but too many people just don't take the joke. So we uh, literally quickly swap it back <laughs> with see. the real Wine Scratch team. <laughs> and we also put a Tau Gay team. And, I see. <laughs> yeah, at that time, a lot of people asked, uh, why, is there not, why is there not just Wine Scratch, but also another beer one called Tau Gay with a yellow background? And if and Derby being laughing at Applejack, also. <laughs> All right. So oh. yeah, you could say it's for the loops. For the loops. But it no, is. the reason why Tauke team is yellow background is because uh, someone at MBS asked, "Is could be could I do a Tauke team?" And I said, "Give me a color. Give me two colors, and I can give you one." <laughs> And someone said black and white, and then said, sorry, I cannot use black or white. And then someone else suggested yellow and red. So yeah, that's why it's yellow and red for Tauke. So it's like a spur of the moment joke kind of thing. Yeah, it's right. meant to be a joke, and then yeah, it got real. <laughs> the funny thing is, Tauke is still actually accessible. The CSS oh. file is still there, I think. No, not just there. It's still actually accessible if you choose Discord. Oh. If you, if you choose Discord and then scroll down, you will see Bloomberg and Tauke. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, then you got your little Easter egg, Harley. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, consider that. that More easy. Easter eggs, yep. How do you get it? How do you get it again? Discord. Where? It's like Discord as your team and then scroll down the team select. Okay, okay, hang on, I'm, I'm re- <laughs> it's quite messy because I've reached the de- beginning of the Pony Hoof. Um, <laughs> Pony I, know, Hoof. I, know, I know one of the problems is that if you scroll down timeline a lot and it will get re- your browser gets really laggy. I do know that problem. And how come I can whine about stories now? <laughs> oh, okay, that must be the report. That's report. <laughs> Sorry, I just... Is any- not reporting, it's not whining. <laughs> I just only installed it um, half an hour ago. <laughs> I had it, but it stopped working for some reason on my end. I don't know why. It's just like, I yeah. pressed install and it still shows Facebook. There it is. Make sure. Uh, <coughs> you, want me to do, you want me to do the copy and paste? 
he's he's trying uninstalling Chrome new clothes. <laughs> yeah, I've tried that. I went into Chrome and I uninstalled the extension and put it back in and it didn't work. Hey, but my left is a piece of dirt, so don't bother. My uh, Facebook is very yellow. Very, very yellow now. <laughs> then switch on the login background. Login background? Uh, Ponyhoof options, background. Oh yeah, I always prefer the login background. And then you will see Derby with AJ's hat. Oh. Anywho, <laughs> let's get back on track to um, next part of the question. So uh, now that we're done, pretty much you're asking about Ponyhoof. I'd like to ask you a little bit more about little.my. So you said on little.my it's hosting for Ponyhoof and other projects. So anything you would like to spill with us, just tell us a little bit more. Not really. Little.my doesn't do anything much. <laughs> so it's, it's like, you know, it's just other software projects. So I was wondering, hmm, um, you up to? No, nothing. There's really not much stuff. And uh, how do you say? Except, except like, I don't know, little.my slash images slash... Facebook.jpg Basically, what made you buy little.my as a domain? I know it's a really, really interesting why do domain. We, why do we buy little.my? Yes. Because you can type pony.little.my. And then what happens? Oh, that's genius! <laughs> yes, it's I know, that's genius! My little pony! Pull it's it my backwards. little pony backwards. I know. Literally, uh, because it's .my and I'm in Malaysia, so it's my .my. <laughs> Funny, it's funny. PLM, man. PLM. <laughs> funny in the mind. <laughs> but unfortunately, people don't get it. Uh, now that you've pointed it, now we know. Now we know. Uh, it's not funny anymore. It is, it is. And yeah, we can do a lot of awkward stuff. Like, because it's my little... Right now, we have my little... Yeah, yeah po- ponyhoof.little.my hoof.little.my <laughs> Oh, then you could just add in dashi dot little dot my. I don't know how many people will actually know how to do that. I'm pretty sure that it might just get a, a, a few hits because if people start to realize the little dot my joke, and then it will totally go and knock us. No, it's sort of it's sort of the domain name's trick, like b r o n i dot e s. Yeah. Ron e dot s yes, but people don't get the joke. Oh yeah. And Dale.ECO. Dale.ICIO.US. Yeah, yeah, delicious. MLPF.IM. Yeah, yeah, MLPF.IM. So, other than little.my, did you have any other domains you considered? Not really. Kind of landed on little.my straight away, huh? Yeah, and, and it's a decision that we are happy. <laughs> I remember when I first became a even though, though, even though even though .my is a bit more expensive. It is, that's why. I, when I first became a brony, I thought of buying little .my just for the lows, and then I looked, what? It's more expensive than a .com? Screw it. I'm not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, any more questions from you all about Ponyho for little .my or any other of these projects? I think I'm good. Arman, you haven't been asking anything? I can't think of anything much. All the questions I wanted to ask already have been asked in the <laughs> way back when episode. <laughs> I mean, it was basically to celebrate uh, one year of having an amazing Facebook extension. So, congratulations on one year of Ponyhoof, and we hope to see much, much more coming up. And now that we know that April Fool is one week's time, we already can expect something. The question is how we're going to find that joke. Hey, I just discovered something in my head right now. So, uh, uh, Ipang, I was wondering, with all the complaints that you've been getting about uh, Ponyhoof, because I noticed that uh, either you or... The pony hoof always post pictures of people doing derpy stuff, like asking, "How do I uninstall yeah, this?" On, and, my, on my own profile. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. how has that been um, working out for you with those silly questions or kind of serious, but they should really work it out for themselves kind of <laughs> situation? How many times a day do you get those kind of messages? No, one per day. <laughs> one per day. Yeah, I, don't, it's, I think it's a part of life for tech support. <laughs> but, well, it really depends on how moronic the question is. Okay. <laughs> but or, um, if, the, or if the person, if I can immediately see the profile picture is a pony in some way, and then I say, oh, okay, he might be a brony, and I will take his question more seriously. But in some cases, if people just post a foreign language, post an I'm not then I'll probably not even bother translating. 
It just it just click the market spam button. We don't actually get too much trolls on our page, but then again, I think the, those technical support questions are already trollish in a way. <laughs> yeah, I just was wondering because with all the troubles that I see you post uh, day in and day out, it's like, oh, this person does this, this person does that. Like, don't they read it first? <laughs> Another thing is that people just don't post details. The main thing is that I need details in order to solve your problem. A lot of times I get poses like, Ponyhoof suddenly stops working. <laughs> okay. And then they didn't say anything else. <laughs> and then they expect me to use my psychic mind-reading powers. <laughs> it's true, it's true. It's like sometimes I see certain things, like certain people say, like... um, I, I'm... private inbox... Yeah, and yeah, one of the messages from private inbox, how do you undo this? My boyfriend did it, now it won't stop helping me. <laughs> and typing in cap lock. Yeah. Yeah. I think this qualifies for horror stories from tech support. Yeah, I, I got one here, it, it just says, please stop, uh, please let me uninstall. It's like, what? Okay, um, I, I can understand the uninstall button is not obvious, you need to look around, so okay. Uh, the copy paste you could have read the FAQ but you didn't kind of thing. Would you mind sharing with us because we've saw some of this already? What are the funniest reasons you've ever seen for those who have actually made it to the uninstall button? Some people have left really really funny reasons why they uninstalled Ponyhoof. I haven't actually checked that document <laughs> for a really long time, so I'm going to open it right now and see. Yeah, I remember this one person that said that you don't have my favorite pony also. So when you actually have that pony then call me then sms me at this phone number <laughs> why? why what oh, okay okay i just opened the document the most recent a few hours ago saying someone else installed this i just want it gone <laughs> exclamation mark exclamation mark i think some people got pranked and had this trouble. yeah I'm, re- I'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure someone got oh it's it's fabulous prank material seriously <laughs> Some people say that they are quitting the fandom. Well, that that really is something. Drama, drama. What's new? I don't. Oh, one thing. One another one says I don't like it because I can't uninstall it. <laughs> but he just. <laughs> oh, genius. Actually, I. But, I do have... No, but there is one other reason that I that one feature request that a lot of people have asked for is that multiple Facebook account support because Polyhook right now has three type of users. One is a single person using his own computer and the second type is that like a husband, a brony husband and wife. I think they're great. Well, they're great also. <laughs> and they want, and the wife wants Fluttershy and the dad wants Rainbow Dash also. So, and the third kind is he wants Ponyfoof active on his own account, but not on his dad's account. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah I, I am definitely aware of how painful it is for those people, but yeah, I am planning to do, I am planning to do multiple account support. Oh, we okay. might, and, my, my and usual... minimize the surprise. <laughs> yeah. My solution to that is usually to install another browser because Chrome yeah. has so many derived browsers out there, like, Flock and rock melt and torch and all that. So I usually just do that with Chrome. Yes, yeah. not everyone is as tech savvy to know that it even exists. Yeah. Facebook? No, uh, those other things you mentioned. No, I mean, there's so many other browsers. I mean, Firefox versus Chrome, there's already that very big difference right there. And if you're using IE, then you won't have access to it. So, Yipang, uh, you were saying about multiple accounts, right? Um, I've uh, noticed that. So- uh, when I log into the MBS Show's Facebook account, um, I set it to a different team. And when I log in back to my original account, my prior personal... So you use the top right, use Facebook as page. Oh, okay. Facebook as page? You use that? The top there, you are commenting as who? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah that one, yeah. Is that, but so... Um, for no, example, it should be it should be the the I not I might be also planning to do like if you're on your personal account and uh, and if you use Facebook as page you want to separate the settings 
I no. might do it, but mm. by default and the behavior right now is to share the settings. Oh, really? No, because so um, personal I... account and page are exactly the same settings. Oh, really? Because I remember doing something like that for the as page and personal because um, for the personal, I did it as Doctor Who's and for the page, I did it as random and it kind of different. It, it doesn't share the same theme. So, is that a feature or is that derpy on my it's part? It's random. Oh, random. Oh, okay. It was random. <laughs> you said it's a random, so it's supposed to be random every time you reload. Oh, really? No. Oh, okay, because uh, I thought it was a different feature for different things. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I need to double check on when I click. <laughs> Maybe you think that it's random on login? Oh, uh, not really, because oh, I know... No, it's not random on login. It's, it will load a new team every time you reload. Facebook. Uh, oh, okay, okay. When you okay. press F5, yeah. Okay. And yeah, another thing that a lot of people complain is that the randomizer is not good. Because some people swear that they see a certain type of pony more a than none. Yeah, people swear by that. And no, pony hoof is not biased <laughs> towards which pony. <laughs> the, randomizer, the randomizer is not biased. <laughs> oh. No, it's not. It's not biased. <laughs> I was uh, it's, it's, it's simply because computers aren't actually good at generating random numbers. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. I was wondering on the part of um, randomizer, would you in the future have some kind of set ponies that you want to randomize? Not random all 34 ponies, like select 5 ponies that you like and randomize those yes, 5? we did. We do have that. <laughs> really now? Derpy me then. Shows me what I know. <laughs> yes, yeah, to smash around in the settings a bit. This is why I handle the tech for the show. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, I, I, I do have another question. Just browsing through the options, I noticed that you have actually have sounds. Um, yeah. uh, are, they, are they really now experimental or is it some just... Some... Uh, the reason why they I still call it experimental is because it's Facebook. They are derpy. They like to be derpy. They like to screw things up. They just don't know what went wrong. Um... And because I really don't know does Facebook suddenly, two weeks later, will suddenly, like, change their code all of a sudden and then break the sounds. Oh, I see. Mark Zuckerberg hates you. <laughs> because, yeah, I see what you mean. Facebook is continuously being updated with new stuff. Yeah, they, they, they have a... They, Facebook's company culture is move fast and break things. Instead <laughs> of... Their, literally, their company motto is that instead of two engineers fighting each other which feature A or feature B is better. Their, their philosophy is to just write the code and then push that fee- new feature to like 0.1% of the user population and get feedback and see <laughs> does users actually like the feature or not. Wow, that, that's and random. Yeah, this is one of the complications for Ponyhoof because Facebook sends different code to everyone. For example, the ticker. I don't actually have the ticker on my account. The what? So... I don't. I don't have the top right ticker. Oh. I don't have a ticker on my account because I have less than one hundred friends. But I do have test accounts that do have one hundred friends, so that's not a big problem. But yeah, it's one of the thing. The code that Facebook sends to you is not the exact same code that Facebook sends to your friend. It's Ooh. not the same. It is not the same. So they base- like to test. They like to test new features randomly to random people. So basically, it's like a game developer creating a game for the PC games then. Okay, so Yeah, maybe, but in this case, the beta testers are 1 billion people. <laughs> a lot. And you're throwing stuff to the wall and see which which sticks. Uh, that body sticks, let's do it. The reason why I say it's experimental is because that I think sounds is pretty much the only option that deeply hooks into Facebook's code. Because the other features are not that bad because like if Facebook decides to have a new code for the button tomorrow it will at least have the basic blue button Ooh. and people will might think that oh it's just a temporary bug not that much but if it's a sound people might notice that why is the sound not playing also the styling is not a huge deal if it's like blue for one or two days but the sounds might be a big bigger deal I do remember last time, I think on November or December, Facebook changed the code for the pony emoticons, 
And a lot, a lot of people, I think like five or ten people, literally posted on page saying, why is the Facebook emoticons turned back to Facebook again? Why is the pony emoticons turned back to Facebook's own? People kind of take it so fast, man. Ponies, man. Ponies are serious business. Yep. Pause. Okay, so just a few more questions from me is that I don't know how much, to what extent this is possible, but um, I don't really know the ecosystem of programming on Facebook. But would it be possible that in the future to make Ponyho a persistent account app, like something like it will follow you wherever you go, so it's cloud running in a sense that if I log into Facebook on a computer I never used before, it would display and render uh, no. from the Facebook app repository itself? No. No. Because Ponyho is, is a browser extension, it's not a... Uh... Facebook app like FarmView also it's yeah, a completely was... different it's a completely different piece altogether I see so you're not gonna be able to do that no okay speaking on a similar topic people requested for mobile app for mobile apps and it might be possible to do mobile apps with Facebook's API but the main problem is that Facebook's API is really crappy okay. it's not good it is not good it bugs out a lot. They change features. Uh, so not they change features. Not they change features. It likes to bug out in the dirt for like one full day. Okay. But most likely even more. All right. If you don't have any more questions, I'd like to just um, finish up here. Sure, sure. Sure. All right. I'm so good. my final question is: On your computer, which pony do you choose? My own home computer. Yes. Originally, I like to use Rainbow Dash's team, but the main issue is that I need to differentiate Rainbow Dash's blue with Facebook's own blue. <laughs> oh. So I cannot use any blue colored ponies. Ah. Rainbow Dash, Luna, Lightning Dust, and what else? What else ponies are blue? <laughs> uh, Nightmare me... Moon. Nah, close uh, Nightmare Moon sim- is a bit similar, so I can't use that. Oh, Ooh, okay. Oh, okay, Colgate, Cloud Chaser, <laughs> Flitter. Uh, and... Let's see. Soren? Snowdrop. Thorin. No snowdrop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. Shining oh, armor. No, true, true. You mean even with blue in the main, you don't use it? Blue in the main. Blue text. Yeah, like, I, know, I try not. I try not to use any characters with any blue. So yeah, it's pretty much those Those characters are... I can't really use those characters because I need to differentiate Facebook's blue. Okay. So cool. yeah, I literally, I literally alternate between the main six... Oh, so cool. sometimes I use Twilight, sometimes I use Pinky, sometimes I use Cyberjack, sometimes Fluttershy, sometimes Rarity. Okay. I switch it a lot. I have to say that after season uh, 3 ended with the new Princess Twilight thing, uh, you added something really cool that I think everybody might be asking for. Why? Uh, change ponies to something else like um, Princess Twilight and... Appearance. Yeah, Appearance. Yeah. That's all cool and fun. <laughs> Which team are you the most proud of? Which team am I the most proud of? Yeah, I'm putting you on the spot here. Pinky. Yeah, because Pinky, Pinky. Because, well, not because I just like Pinky, it's because that a lot it's of... complicated, isn't it? <laughs> no, because I do most of the more experiments on Pinky. Because originally, when you open the notifications, and then a pony will pop out, that's originally only for Pinky. Ooh, okay. And once I got more character vectors, then yeah, I just spread it to another characters. And now it's pretty much mandatory to have a pony at notifications. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> much mandatory. mandatory. Yeah. We're done with the questions, so thank you very much, Ikpam, for joining us on this episode. Uh, thank you very much as well. No problem. And so, let's move on over and see what shout-outs we could give up this week. Norman, why did you go first? Well, my first shout-out goes to you, Ng Bang. Thank you for being on the show. Um, okay. it's, even though it's, this whole recording has been derpy, but still, thanks a lot for coming on and telling us the stories about um, Pony Hoof and what happens behind the scenes. Yeah. It's an yeah. amazing achievement, one year of a Facebook extension. True, true. Oh, amazing that sucker button is shut down. Oh yeah, uh, I I think Zuckerberg got oh, no reason May. to. On May on May twenty twelve, the fish oh, did yeah. not show. <laughs> <Zuckerberg died. laughs> mm. For no reason, I still have no idea. You should make a Zuckerberg OC. No. <laughs> oh, somebody's uh, kissing up to somebody. I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
And also, um, yeah, it's been one year since I first interviewed you on the show, asking you about the whole pony hoof thing. And uh, surprising to say, um, much haven't changed during back and now. It, there's a few changes I noticed, but it's all good ponies from then to now. Yep, things just keep getting better. Indeed. And also to you, Dan and Shardy, thank you for coming to GB and, well, hanging out with me. Hey, hey. <laughs> okay. So I'll go next. First shout out is to Silly Philly Studios. Yes, I've been dropping it all over this podcast. Snowdrop was our masterpiece. A beautiful, beautiful episode. Congratulations to you guys. And to Charlie for bringing me along to JB to see Norman and for having his family friend Dr. Adam host us while we were there. Thank you, Charlie. Uh, No wrong. (laughs) I hope I didn't bore you too much in the car. Oh, no. You kept me awake, yes? (laughs) Even when he was trying to sleep, yeah. (laughs) So, Charlie, do you have any shout outs? Mm, this week? Actually, I can't think of any this week. I think I have to pass off shoutouts this week. Alright, no problem. And Geek Punk, anyone you want to shout out to? Anybody who's been on your development team? <laughs> your man development team? <laughs> yeah, you're, I think you're one of the only few one-man dev teams I know. Dun, dun, dun. Any shoutouts you want to give? No, uh, not really. <laughs> Alright then, so thank you once again for joining us. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the mbsshow at gmail.com. If you would like to email us personally, you can reach Norman at norman at the mbsshow.com. If you want to reach me, you can reach me at daniel at the mbsshow.com. If you want to reach Charlie, you can just hit up charlie at the mbsshow.com. You can also hit us up on Twitter. Our Twitter account is at the mbsshow, mine is at St. Pinky. And I'm at Norman Sanzo. And I'm uh, at drcxy. And Geek Punk, by any chance, do you have Twitter? Uh, Pony Who is pretty much the only one. So yeah, just go follow Pony Who on Twitter. Yes, Pony Who has Twitter. And just also- ironic. <laughs> a Pony Who has <laughs> extension on Twitter. <laughs> hey, that may be cool, a Twitter extension. <laughs> do it, ironic. Billy, do it! Yeah. It's not that ironic. I mean, YouTube has a Twitter account and Twitter has a YouTube account, so yeah. <laughs> no, Facebook, pa- Facebook has a page on Facebook. <laughs> yes. That's and their cover photo is like, I don't know, like Nokia. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, the well. two hands Nokia thing. <laughs> promotions, promotions. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes and like our Facebook page. Links are provided in the show notes. And of course, Pony Hooked is a Facebook extension, so we would expect you to install that as well. You can find it at jointheherd.little.my. And that's it for this week. I've been Daniel Anthony. I've been Norman Sanzo. I've been Charlie. I'm Ang. Um, you clown. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye bye.
you tell us how many installs you've had? Uh, right now, uh, let me open it. Let me open Chrome Web Store. If my internet will load. Uh, okay. <laughs> right now, Chrome Web... Really good. Huh? My connection, connection seems to be okay. Yeah, my, I don't think it's my connection problem. I think it's my computer, my desktop's network card. For oh. some reason, is it, it seems to keep dropping the connection and then reconnecting two seconds later. So, is it fried from uh, the thunderstorms that have been happening lately? Uh, I replaced the network card. Yeah, I've done that twice on my friend's computer and it always gets fried. <laughs> I don't remember any thunderstorms recently. Oh, there was one violent one here. 